Hey, it's Clay. Hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a follow-up video to a video that I posted years ago. And um, one of the this has been a very interesting video because when I posted it, I really didn't think that anyone would really watch it. Or I mean, you never really know. Some of my videos have like 13 views. Other than have like 180,000. So you never really know what's going to take off. And at the time, I had a Zoom G3 on my pedal board. And I was able to get some really nice ambient tones from it. It's a lot of swell type stuff. And, um, well, this is actually, I got a Zoom G3 back in the mail. And I love this pedal. I should never have sold it in the first place. This thing is an absolute Swiss Army knife. And so um, I've got this little pedal board here. I, somebody gave me an Ernie Ball volume pedal that had a broken string. So I ordered a new string and fixed it. Uh, I've got an Ultimate Drive from Joyo for 30 bucks. I've got a K-Line Pure Sky for 30 bucks, And then I've got the Zoom G3, which I got for about 100 bucks. I have an external tap tempo switch locate, uh, hooked up to it. And um, I'm mostly using it just for effects. Now, it does have some amp modeling, and maybe I'll do some of that in the future. But what I really love about this box is its versatility. If you just think about it for delays and compare it with something like the TC Electronics... Um, X4 or whatever their delay is where they've got I mean this is basically that the delays sound really good the reverb sound really good it's a fantastic multi effects box um, you know I don't want to buy a chorus pedal but sometimes it's nice to have just a little bit of chorus and then lastly a ditto looper which I got for 70 bucks I'll, on a free pedal board with a uh, Dunlop power brick and this is running into an Epiphone Valve Junior that I modded I got this also for like 100 bucks so this whole setup is like as cheap of a guitar rig as you could possibly get. And um, so anyways, I wanted to show this off in kind of an ambient context for those of you that enjoy that kind of music. And I also wanted to actually save the preset. So um, link back to this video. And I, in the video, I will put a link to this video where I will actually have a preset that you can download. So if you have a Zoom G3 and you want to get this ambient tone, you can. Because I will actually have a preset to my ear that sounds very similar and it does the same type of thing. So let's go ahead and listen. <laughs> 